of how a branching forms can work to either send students down a different assessment path um, or a different learning path. Um, or you could even use it as a pre-assessment and then students that have the concept can move on and other ones can do a little more learning. So what you need to do is you need to set up and you can, if you need to ask a, a few questions of everyone. So you kind of start with what does everyone need to be asked? So this would be clarifying question one, whatever you want to make that about. Question one, um, multiple choice works best for this because then you can go different ways based on different answers. And you can always put a bunch of questions before this, but there has to be one question that starts to divide it. So actually let's call this dividing question. So, <clears throat> um, so this would be kind of a, they know it answer. This might be a, they don't know it answer. And there also could be multiple things here. You could also use pictures as your answer. So based on the picture they choose, which is kind of interesting in math that you could put pictures and then they could pick the, pick the right picture. Uh, so it's some things you can do there. You can add more than one option. And then what you need to do here is go to section based on answer. All right. So right now we don't have any other sections. So this is where this button comes in is adding sections. So section two, we'll call it, they knew it. And we're going to add a third section called they didn't know it. Um, and then, so if they know it, they're going to go to the section called they knew it and feel free to name them and make them work for you. Uh, they didn't know it goes to, they didn't know it. Um, and then you can start to add questions that are appropriate. So if they knew it, so this section needs something in it. So maybe, oh, and now I need to make sure I get this in the right section. So I'm going to put it in the, they knew it section. Yeah, that's right. Cause yeah, it's under the, and you can add, so maybe it's a, this is an intro to the next topic now. And maybe there's a, you know, get them do a short answer, kind of what do you know about this? Or what are you wondering about this? Or maybe it's an extension question or activity. So you can also activity. Oh my gosh. Spending time. You can just put a video in, for example, if you want, if they know it, then they watch this particular video. So now there's a, we'll just put crash course because they're really great. All right, here we go. Capitalism, socialism, boom. So maybe they knew it. So now they have to watch this video, this video. So you can send them on a different learning path if they knew it. Um, you can also up here on the dividing question, you can just send them, um, go to section three. Maybe the, the section three is go to this website. Um, so you can say, visit this Google doc. And you just put a link to a Google doc and it gives them their next piece to do. So it can just, it, it, the, the form could actually take you out of the form as part of your answer. Add title and description, add image, add section. All right, so if they didn't know it, so now they're gonna go here and maybe they have another question to double check. Or maybe there's two or three. And maybe if they get it correct, or if they get it wrong. So you can still send them onto this, go to section based on answer. So maybe they, they knew it. So you can add, you, you can have them go to the I'm done section or the you, you've got it section at different points during the quiz, which is kind of cool. So I'm going to have them go to section three, maybe they still don't know it. So if they got it wrong, they're going to go to, they still don't know it. 
and maybe and they still don't know it, I'm going to put some resources for them to go to. Um, maybe I'm going to put a YouTube video for them to watch. Maybe it's just, I say, review this section uh, or review this previous assignment. So you can do it as a quiz, but you can also do it as a kind of adventure in where do you want to go next? Um, so you can have students dig deeper or you can have students exit or do other things. Uh, so the branching is kind of interesting. You can do different things with it. This is just kind of a basic so you get the idea of where it can go. And it's if they're done, they, they submit the form. So after section three, so you can send them to different directions in different places.